Hey everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be diving into a topic that's crucial for online and physical security, impersonation and masquerading. These are the tricks that criminals use to deceive you. And trust me, they can cause some serious damage if you don't know how to spot them. So let's break it down. Impersonation happens when someone takes on identity of another person. It can happen in a lot of ways. In person, over the phone, by email or even logging into someone's account without permission. This type of deception is also called as masquerading, spoofing or identity fraud. Now, there is a distinction we need to make. Impersonation can be sophisticated, like someone carefully crafting an elaborated attack to steal your information or access your accounts. But there's masquerading, which is more of an amateur attempt. Both are impersonation, but the level is different. Now let's talk why impersonation is so dangerous. Online criminals may send you email that look like they are from trusted sources, asking for sensitive information or even trying to get you click on the link to install malware. You might also see fake social media profiles pretending to be your friends or hackers logging into your account by stealing your credentials. These attacks are known as spoofing. The thing about impersonation is that it takes advantage of trust. You might get an email that looks exactly like it's from your bank asking you to reset your password. But if you don't double check, you could end up giving your login information directly to the attackers. So how do we protect ourselves? First, always verify before you act. If you get a suspicious email or call, take a moment to check if that's legitimate. Don't just click on any link or provide information right up. Multi-factor authentication is also a great tool by requiring more than just your password, like a code sent to your phone. It makes it much harder for someone to impersonate you online. Also, when it comes to physical impersonation, think someone trying to sneak into your restricted area. There are simple defenses like access badges, security cards, or ID checks at entrances. These measures help ensure that only the right person gain access to the sensitive spaces. And here's the big one, education. The more you know about impersonation tactics, the better you will be at spotting them. Train yourself to recognize suspicious messages and be cautious about who you trust online. Use reliable security tools like password manager and good antivirus software can also help you prevent impersonation attacks. They protect your account and alert you if something suspicious is going on. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe for more such videos. And if you have any suggestions or questions, don't forget to comment down below. Thank you.